it's not it's not uncommon when we've been struggling with our mental health that we really want to find the strength to beat anxiety or we want the strength to cut out compulsions or the strength to accept these horrible disgusting intrusive thoughts and often because of that we, we try all sorts of things and we really you know we're trying all sorts of different therapies and medications and supplements and mantras and crystals and all sorts of stuff really really trying and striving if you notice you've been trying a lot of things or you're really struggling with something like acceptance and you, you, you keep coming back to this idea of strength I'm going to suggest that maybe it's time to try something different uh, and maybe it's time to try weakness. The thing is you're already damn strong and you know that you have seen the battles that you have been fighting. If you're on this channel you're you know you're probably far enough along in the battle that you've seen the challenges you're running into using the weapons you have at your disposal. You've seen that these weapons barely push back the enemy and in fact, the more you try to push back these thoughts and these feelings that you don't like, they only seem to get stronger and more challenging. It really helped me to see that the fighting is the problem. That there, there was no way for me to win the war against thoughts I didn't like because engaging in battle with them meant I had already lost. And I'm going to explain this using this delicious apple. Uh, which I actually don't know that it's delicious yet because I haven't, I haven't eaten it, but I, I'm going to eat it. I almost ate it today, and then I remembered, oh, I need to make this video after. I only have one apple, so I saved it. But now I feel, you know, I, like I really want to eat it. So how do you accept something in the right way? How do you accept an intrusive thought? How do you accept an emotion, like anxiety, that you, you really don't like? This apple is a thing. Uh, it's like a thought. A thought is a thing. An emotion is a thing. There, thoughts and emotions are real. Apples are real. I will now demonstrate how to accept a thought correctly uh, be, by accepting this apple. I will accept the apple correctly. Just, just one moment. I am almost there. Okay, two, two more seconds, two more seconds. Accepting, accepting the apple, feeling, acceptance, the apple. So, so the apple can be there. Okay, okay, I don't, I don't know how to properly accept the apple. Let's see, and this, this is the problem with trying to approach acceptance as a thing we, we do. Hold on here. Let's say this is a bad apple. You know, apples are good, my thoughts are bad, how do I accept a bad thought? Okay, now, but now it's a, it's a bad apple, okay? Now we're going to accept the bad apple. Do it with me. <sighs> Maybe the problem here is I just don't have enough strength or I'm not using enough strength to accept the apple. So what we should do, and everybody at home too, like really try to be strong. We're gonna accept the bad apple again. Uh, it, this calls to be a bad thought, bad emotion, bad physical sensation. But this time, I want you to be strong. All right, so be strong and accept it. Flex your glutes or something, because always, always at the gym, they're always saying, you know, tighten your glutes, flex your glutes. Maybe that, will help us. Hey, how are we going to go about our days until we've accepted this apple correctly? How are we going to wake up in the morning if we can't accept the existence of this bad apple? Right? That, that's not how it works. I mean, you, you can tighten your glutes if you want to. You know, you always want to have good kind of core stability and posture, but uh, that actually has nothing to do with your ability to accept an apple or a thought or anything else you accept every day, like clouds, outside, trees, on the street. We could, we could, you know, every time we walk past a tree on the street, we could decide, okay, I have to accept this tree and I'm, I'm gonna try to find the strength to accept it. Uh, and, and then we'd move on to the next tree, you know, if we could be certain we'd accepted the first tree, we'd move on to the next tree and again, really, really try to feel that we've accepted that tree before moving on to the next one. And you, you start to see here the problem we're putting something in charge of our life 
something that probably does not need our focus, that does not need our time and energy spent on it. And that's really the thing to think about here with acceptance, uh, with trying to overcome something that we don't like, right? So say it's not a bad apple, say it's an intrusive thought. It's a feeling you don't like. The moment we put that thing at the center of our life, we put it in front of us and say, I must solve this. I need the strength to solve it. I'm going to get all sorts of supports in my life to give me the strength to solve it. We have put that thing in charge of our lives. And if we're doing that because we really want to get rid of that thing because we don't like it, then we're actually not practicing acceptance at all. Uh, that's just another compulsion. And that's the same kinds of compulsions to avoid and control experiences that gets us into mental health struggles in the first place. You probably don't do things to accept apples each day. You probably do do things to thoughts and emotions and physical sensations that you don't like. And that is one of our strengths. We are so good at judging. We are so good at spotting the enemies because we are at war and we are going to defeat them. And as soon as we see them, we try to gather our forces to fight them. But I don't have to solve and fight and defeat thoughts or feelings or physical sensations just like... I don't have to solve and fight and defeat the existence of an apple so that I can go about my work days or so that I can make a video, right? Throughout this video, this bad, nasty, intrusive apple can just sit here. I don't have to do anything with it. This is where the weakness part comes in. Acceptance isn't something we have to do to thoughts and feelings. It's an undoing. It's allowing. It's letting them be there. It's about rolling back all the things we've been doing to fight them. It's about not sticking labels and judgments on them. You know, I have to look at changing beliefs I have that say those thoughts are not allowed and they shouldn't be there, or those uncertainties must be solved. Because it's, of course it's very difficult to let an apple sit here beside me if I believe that apples in videos are wrong. Because, of course, if I believe that the whole time here I'm going to be worrying, like, is anybody noticing that there's an apple right here? I mean, putting an apple in a video is bad, right? So there's going to be a process here of undoing and unlearning, uh, of allowing yourself to be weak. Uh, let, the, let this fight drop. Yeah, you, don't, you don't have to win this fight. It's, uh, it's unwinnable. Let the things be there. And through this process, we shift our focus in recovery because we don't have to put the things we hate at the center of recovery. Instead, it's about building recovery around the things we want in our lives because we don't have to solve the apple or the clouds or the thought or the trees or the feeling. All of those things are just in the context around us as we go about our lives. And that's, that's what this has to be about. You are very strong. You are going to be amazed at what happens when you take all of that time and energy, all of that effort, that sweaty, challenging effort that you've put into mental health battles. And you say, look, these are not enemies I have to defeat. I don't have to feel like I've won this war. I'm going to go and live my life now. I'm going to take all this time and energy. I'm going to put it into the things I care about, the relationships that I care about. That's something you can put at the center of building better mental health. Bad apples are pretty good. <laughs>